Welcome to Go East, gentlemen, where we help gentlemen move from west to east. I am Andrew Esquire, American attorney living in Asia. And today we're going to talk about the Thailand Privilege Visa and how the Thailand Privilege Visa is not all it's cracked up to be. Now, this visa, the Thailand Privilege Visa, is actually the old Thailand elite visa. This visa is a visa that many people that are Thailand hands, that have been down here or been looking for visas, been shopping for visas, are well familiar with. It's essentially buying a visa for an extended period of time, for five years, 10 years, 15 years, and paying a fairly high price for a fairly straightforward process. So for a fairly simplified process, you pay a very large amount of money and you are given a visa. You know, it used to be a significant amount, but recently as it shifted from Thailand elite to Thailand privilege, the amount has gone up radically. So now you're paying even more for this privilege visa to be here for a long time. Now, one important thing about this visa, and the critical element here, particularly for today's story, is that there is no work authorization, i.e. you are not supposed to work in Thailand, not at all, not a little bit, not sort of, not kind of, not only online, not at all, when you are on this visa. You do not have a work authorization. You would need to seek a work approval, receive work authorization to work in Thailand, and this is not a visa that comes with that authorization. So we had the curious case of Miss Wang, and this was a Chinese TikToker who was on this visa. Now, she had a lot of issues that she made, and I'm going to make a separate video on Miss Wang and some of the issues that she misrepresented about uh, Thailand and the safety of Thailand and the safety of Thailand for women. That's a separate video. But in this video, I wanted to comment on the privilege visa because one of the issues that was brought up was after she spoke negatively about Thailand and the immigration police and other police looked into her, they found out she was on this visa and they said, oh, well, you're violating the law. You are violating the law by being here on this visa. Now, of course, my partner here, Ben of Integrity Legal, <coughs> he speaks a lot about that. You can check out his channel, Integrity Legal Thailand, and you can hear him talking about that ad nauseum. But beyond that, and he does a fantastic job of it, and he's been here for a very long time. His firm specializes it, which is, specializes in Thai immigration, which is why uh, I often partner with them, and I am doing work with them. However, um, what the point is here is that her visa does not have work authorization. And YouTube, TikTok, content creation that you're making money on, when you, particularly when you're staying here long-term, when it's clear you have a lease, right? When you're living here, when you have assets here, when you have a bank account here, and it's clear you are have a life you're living here and you're bringing in money via social media, yes, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be an issue because you are not supposed to be doing that without proper authorization. Now, people will say, well, Andrew, I've done this forever and I've never been caught. Good for you, right? You, you want a gold star or a cookie? That's cute, okay? And I don't, I acknowledge that there are folks that can get away with stuff all over the world. There are folks that are drug dealers in the United States that get away with being a drug dealer. Does that make it any more legal? No, it does not. Something can be illegal and you cannot be caught and that does not suddenly make it legal. So to say that you can work if you're on a visa with no work authorization, it is not legal for you to work. People get very butthurt about that. They get very uh, upset. They get very mad. But the truth of the matter is you're not supposed to be doing that. Now, the likelihood of getting caught. That's a balancing game, right? But it's certainly you're seeing that it's radically going up as you make any sort of public image of yourself, including saying anything bad about the country. This is very similar to Johnny Somali, right? Johnny Somali in Japan. Johnny Somali, you know, clearly broke the law. But in addition to that, he didn't just break the law. It wasn't just because he trespassed. It was because he trespassed while streaming about it and damaging the reputation of Japan. Similarly, in Thailand, when you have folks who are going out here like Miss Wang and damaging the reputation of Thailand, Thailand, yeah, they're going to take action. That's very reasonable. That is something to be expected anywhere else. So looking at this Thailand privilege visa, it's now put that under scrutiny. A lot of folks have been shilling this visa, have been pushing this visa. And you have to ask yourself, did they disclose to you that there was no work authorization? Or did they tell you, oh yeah, this privilege visa is awesome. It's giving you everything you want. You can do whatever you want in Thailand. Were those people making a material misrepresentation to you? I don't want to point fingers here and there, but I will say I have heard YouTubers, I have heard influencers, I've heard content creators making false statements about this, 
And oftentimes these content creators know nothing about the law. They're not lawyers. They're certainly not lawyers. And they know nothing what they're talking about. They're not partnering with any people that do immigration. They're not really involved in the process. So when they're telling you, oh, yeah, you can do whatever, they don't know what they're talking about. So you need to be very careful with people that are pushing Thailand privilege and they're not disclosing the pros and the cons. Every single visa, every single visa type to any country, not just Thailand, has its pros and cons. Heck, even citizenship has its pros and cons in certain places, particularly as you may have certain burdens like mandatory conscription that are serious. Those are actually in position. So you should always think about the pros and cons of everything, and those certainly exist, and particularly with the Thailand Privilege Visa. I want people to get it in their mind that this visa is not some sort of golden bullet, and it is certainly not the answer for everybody. Guys, let me know what you think about this, and please make sure to smash the like button on this video. I know I've been a little bit slow on Goey's videos, but we're going to try to work on getting that back up. Until next time, peace.